So you're probably wondering, why in the world have they invited somebody who deals with property casualty insurance to talk to a group of, of state legislators? So let me try to answer that question, why you should care. Number one, your constituents care about insurance, uh, especially after major storms. And you're going to want to make sure that you understand what's going on in your state with regard to the insurance environment. Reason number two that you should care is because insurance has for 150 years been regulated at the state level and you as legislators have r oversight of your state insurance departments and around the country there are some real hinky things going on there and you should take really seriously your oversight responsibilities of your state insurance departments. Also related to insurance is that the federal government, primarily under this administration, is very, very interested in federalizing the regulation of insurance and taking that away, eroding the state-based regulatory system that's worked really well for 150 years. And, um, and you should be concerned about that because it's taking regulation away from people who are closest to the consumers. And then there's also the little thing of um, uh, insurance um, premium taxes that state states collect that, guess what, if the federal government takes over the regulation of insurance and you think they're likely to leave state premium taxes where they are, probably not. Third reason that you should care about uh, why I'm here today and what's going on in the insurance industry is, is this. My members are the largest purchasers of your state and municipal bonds, bar none. So we purchase your debt and so you are your revenue bonds. So you want to make sure that you understand that there is a healthy industry out there who is purchasing those state and municipal revenue bonds. So that's generally why uh, you should care. So PCI, we represent uh, over 1,000 insurance companies in the U.S., home, auto, and business insurers. We don't represent the life side of the business nor the health side of the business. So if you've got questions about that, I can refer you to my colleagues uh, in other trade associations. But we focus on the home, auto, and business uh, side of the house. It's a highly competitive business. If any of you watch TV, whether it's a sporting event or a news event, you, know, you, you probably know the ubiquitous figures that are competing for insurance policyholders on TV. You know, the Gecko, Flo, you know, Mayhem, all those guys, those are the, those are the companies that we, that we represent. And um, we insure, protect you and your constituents, cars, homes, and businesses, and provide peace of mind. And when, ins and when tragedy strikes in states, that's really when a fairly non-sexy business becomes really, really important to your constituents. So for example, uh, insurers were there for 1.7 million policyholders after Hurricane Katrina, with $41 billion in claims payments made to policyholders, and 98% of those claims were completely settled within one year after uh, that storm, coming up on the anniversary of that storm. After Superstorm Sandy, insurers settled 130,000 flood claims to the tune of $8 billion, and the private insurance sector paid more than 1.5 million Sandy claims in the Northeast from all other insured losses valued at more than $18 billion. So at its core, insurance is foundational to the economy. Nothing moves without insurance. So before you can build it, buy it, live in it, or drive it, you have to be able to manage your risk, and that's where insurance comes in. Virtually no one has the ability to retain all of the risk associated with owning a home, owning a business, owning or driving a car on their own personal balance sheet. There has to be a way to offload that risk, and that's where insurance comes in. Our state-based insurance system, as I mentioned, 
of regulation has worked pretty well in the U.S. for 150 years. And it's created this, this circumstance where you have a very vibrant, competitive private insurance market that innovates new products and new services and keeps prices affordable for consumers and safeguards the solvency of companies to make sure that the companies that are selling insurance products in your state are actually able to pay those claims when the disaster strikes. Uh, so the, the way I like to phrase it is the insurance industry is the grease on the axle of the American economy. Nobody thinks about grease very much until there's none there and the axle freezes up. So I think we have actually a lot of shared interest in, in common. Uh, I think both the industry and you as uh, legislators see uh, the fundamental yet limited role of government is to set the, cre is set the conditions for private competitive markets to work and to innovate and create jobs. Uh, my background prior to um, coming to this role is I worked for Governor Bush in the state of Texas, moved with him uh, to D.C. when he became president, spent seven and a half years, served as his deputy secretary uh, of commerce. So I know very well uh, both at the state level from the Workforce Commission, uh, as well as the U.S. Department of Commerce, uh, the important role that government ha plays in setting the conditions for private markets to create jobs and wealth. Uh, and I think, as an industry, this is a very conservative, market-oriented uh, industry. I think we also have a shared interest in improving public safety. The auto insurance industry has historically played an important role in improving uh, highway and traffic safety by partnering with public policymakers uh, auto and auto manufacturers to prevent accidents from occurring in the first place and then making sure that they do the minimal amount of damage once they do occur. For, as a matter of fact, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety opened its doors in 1959 all funded by the insurance industry. And we have been the leading advocate, not only advocate, but researcher on improving highway safety and automobile safety for over 50 years now. Uh, you may have seen our crash dummies uh, on, on TV commercials. That's really the invention of the auto industry. And uh, the research center is just north of here uh, in Virginia, as a matter of fact. And uh, it's gotten to the point over the past 50 years where now auto manufacturers going, went from the place of resisting the efforts of the insurance industry to improve safety to now they want to market when their cars get that five-star crash rating. So that's, that's how far we've changed the debate uh, over the last 50-plus uh, uh, years. 